Hello there, Richard from Digital Foundry here with a look at how AMD's ultra small form factor GPU, the R9 Nano, works out from a performance standpoint at 1440p resolution. We're testing 9 games here at our usual settings for high end GPUs, we've ramped up everything to the max, but in most cases we've held back on multi sampling anti aliasing, and that's because it has ruinous performance implications on many modern game engines. So the R9 Nano is essentially identical on an architectural level to the Fury X, the difference being that its power output is typically around 175 watts, that's 75 less than its big brother. Being a small form factor card it also tries to keep its temperatures low, we didn't see the nano move above 75 degrees in our testing. It also varies its clock speed according to thermal or power limits, in, th in theory it will max out at around 1 gigahertz but more often than not it's in the 850 to 900 megahertz range, depending on the game. AMD told us that performance should be similar to the air-cooled R9 Fury, the idea being that its extra shaders mitigate the loss in clock speed. Well, we'd say it is indeed similar, but the air-cooled Fury does have a small consistent lead over the Nano in virtually every game we tested. But this is still quite impressive, bearing in mind the air-cooled Fury's locked clock speed compared to the Nano's dynamic approach. AMD has created a unique product here, a 6 inch GPU that even at its worst matches the GTX 980, while at its best it provides almost all of the performance of the R9 Fury. It's a fascinating creation, but in a world where gaming case manufacturers are allowing for larger GPUs to fit into their mini ITX products, we do wonder if it's perhaps a niche product within an already fairly small niche. Regardless, it's a fascinating view on the future of graphics cards, and as you can see, the performance is impressive. We'll leave you with the benchmarks for now, give us a like if you enjoyed the vid, and remember to subscribe to Digital Foundry for the latest PC and console tech analysis. Thanks for watching! And if all other plans fail, why not sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his? Before Altair, that was the Levantine approach. You mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? Sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best. Assassin. Probably not. On your right! Shoot! Them! Uh, fucking hell! Watch out! Cycle. This train is...
is full of highly explosive material. Yep. Oh, yeah. This is your plan? Yeah. Come on, you bastards. Stay! 